Okay, I grabbed some more liquid ducts, and pretty much all I really needed to do is connect it right through here. Like, right there's my room. It's got all the other stuff in it. And I just need to run this bit of pipe to the right place. Basically just straight up the wall. Um, eh, I don't really care if that connects too much. Alright, that could work just fine. Uh, is there anything I could do to improve that? Because I kind of don't want those connect to connect to the biogenerators, but I kind of don't care too much, sort of. Like, I'd like to be able to just move this out of the way. Uh, can I do that? I might be able to move this a little bit out of the way, maybe. Barely. Just if I do this, I think I can move it out of the way. So, here's my two glass fiber cables. And that should work. Uh, I can do some cosmetics later. Okay, and I just need Crescent Hammer. Scoop this two pipes out elsewhere. That should work. And we'll be done in just a moment. Oh, God damn it. More crap in the way. <laughs> Come on, you. Move it. <laughs> Fine. That doesn't need to be there, but oh well. Scoot. There we go. And that should be pumping all that stuff. Ah, uh, yes, i got to connect to the bottom. I haven't connected the bottom just yet, but it'll be there very shortly. I can leave that particular pipe. Or grab it from the other side. Uh, all right, down the hole, you know. <laughs> so just a little bit more pipe run, and I'll be more or less done for the moment. Now there's a little bit more I could do if I wanted to make things a little bit smarter, basically. Um, hmm, I wonder what I should do with this. I could run it like this. It's a little silly, but uh, it'll work. Right down to the, through the floor there it would work. Uh, yeah. It's right here. Oh, perfect, because it's <laughs> lined up right there. Alright, that'll work. And there we go, and take off this little nub. Got it here, nub. And grab my other pipe. There we go. It's kind of roundabout, but hey, it'll work. Uh, let me just turn on a little bit more, possibly. Ah, this, this might be enough energy. Let's just see how it goes. Uh, chest has got energy. All right, turn this on. Pull out some biofuel as soon as I smack this. And there we go, we got biofuel. Woo! All right, and I got a bunch of propolis so I can go upgrade all my pipes and stuff. And, oh, that's right, I got to pull out my propolis too. So what's up with this? Centrifuge, okay. This guy's got propolis as well. I got to pull out my propolis and send that over to this pipe. Okay, I can do that too. Uh, that's a little mess. Put this here. Put that there. And this one's going to be a little easier. I'll just run it right on to this. And this one I'll have to probably put it right there. Okay, this will be way quicker and easier than I thought it was going to be a moment ago. I just need to put in an iron pipe right here. There's an iron pipe. Point it up. And then put this right here and put this right there and now get them hopefully it'll pull out what I want, it should uh, off gate, okay yep it's pulling it, it pulled exactly what I wanted, question marks? yes it did okay do the same thing to this thing here and if I don't have a redstone signal Pulse your energy. Hopefully this will pull. There's nothing in this one. Uh, yeah, okay then. Now well, I guess the only thing that's left uh, is basically to load up the system with my bees. So uh, I could also just test it a little bit with some of the mess I've got. But uh, I got a whole bunch of refined queens and bees here. And uh, these are all mostly the same, I think. And I got two extra refined bees that I don't have any... Uh, anything to go with, no drones, that's because I believe all four of these are nocturnal, these two were not, so I'm just going to take half of a couple couple of these sets and uh, just put them with it. And I'm going to put these in here, so that, like that, put this one in here, that one in there, 
that there. Those together. And I need to get some more because I don't have quite enough to fill this whole entire thing up. But this will do for the moment. Now another thing I can do here is I got these empty slots that uh, I could put something into. And I kind of would like to, but it, would, it might be a little involved to pull that off. But I could probably do it. That's why I got this carpenter here for. And this ridiculous quantity of seed oil, basically. Uh, I also would need a whole crap ton of wood, which I do have a lot of. But, um... There's a centrifuge, eh? And a gold chest. I could probably use the gold chest to hold some spare wood. That would do the trick. Well, actually, this carpenter's got a lot of storage space on it. I think I'm going to put this approximately right here. Yeah. Okay, it's filling up with seed oil. Now I gotta go get all my wood. I got so much freaking wood from other things I've done. And these spiders are about to follow me. Yep, follow me right in the house. Get out of here, spider. Can you change? Um, wood. There we go. I got 11,000 spruce. So let's start with that. I'll just fill this whole area up with spruce for the moment. And I'll probably have to work on making this set of system a little bit better and more automated. And uh, kill off these spiders. Get out of here, spiders. Alright, that worked. Freaking spiders. They're... Go away, spider. <laughs> I can hear them. Okay, so... I also need a bunch of string in here too, don't I? Because what I'm trying to make here is... Oh, I, I need a bunch of stuff. Because uh, I need to make sticks. So this is a bunch of impregnated sticks, basically. Uh, and i got to pump that out to a crafting table, don't I? So I've got a crafting table right here, fabricator actually. And there's a gold chest. I think I know exactly what I'm going to do with this now that I think of it. I got a wooden pipe here, a gate, the war gate will work. I think I'm out of ands. And that should be all I really need except one more pipe. There they are. One pipe. So I will pull this away and this will connect to here and I need another gate. One more gate. I'll take an uh, arc arctic even though it doesn't need to be. I'll replace this later with something that isn't, maybe, if I think of it. So I'm going to put two gates here and there. I'm going to put a golden chest right... let's just slap it. I can't open that so I'm going to slap it uh, beside that instead. Right there. So and I got some red pipe wire. I'm going to put this across. There we go. If there is space in the inventory, turn on the red pipe signal. And this might have to be pulled out the side. I don't know. Uh, let's just find out. What gets pulled? It might pull logs for all I know. Oh, I think it pulled the sticks. It might have pulled the sticks. Oh, there isn't any sticks in it because I gotta give this thing power. Duh. All right. Power, 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 pipe. I don't have much of this left. Six. I might be able to pull it off with six. I just need to run across the. Oh, holy crap! There's so much stuff on the way. Um. I think I'll move this slightly. And I just need to run this. Oh, please. Oh. Crap. <laughs> one shy! Just had to be one shy. Uh, let's see. Any here? Nothing there. Well, there's another option. I don't like it, but there's another option. Come here. Give me all the wood. I'll lose a little bit of seed oil, but whatever. Give me um, full crap. Of course, that's pretty normal for me. I'm always full crap. Uh, need my drill. I didn't have these freaking spider eyes on me. That'd help. I'm probably going to have to redo some of this mess. Uh, what else can I throw? That? That'll work. Where is it? Where is it? It's on the floor. What the hell did I pick up? 
string, spider eye, carpenter. That's what I wanted. Okay. Carpenter, you can go right here. You, I guess, I will put you right here with a little bit of pipe right there. And the gate ran off. There it is. That poor gate. It just couldn't take it anymore. It had to run away. And if I have red pipe signal, pull some stuff. Okay. This takes a ridiculous quantity of wood. <laughs> so I'm going to have to start up another tree farm before too long. Okay, it's pulling out my impregnated sticks. This is exactly what I wanted. The other thing I'm going to need is string. i got a little one piece down here to at least set up the recipe with. Uh, here's the fabricator. And I could put this, say, right here. And the fabricator. What should I do with this? Huh, what's this mess? Interesting. Didn't notice that before. With this, I need string in the center. And I'm going to have to move it because I can't open my chest. Fine, I'll put it there. String in the center, like I said before. Sandstone in the ceiling. A little bit of stick here. And I just need to do that. And once I've got a bit of string and impregnated sticks, it'll automatically make me impregnated frames. And these I can uh, set up some kind of system to where it'll transport them all into the um, into these things here when I uh, need them, hopefully. <laughs> and hopefully it won't I don't know if I can make one where it'll not accidentally drop them sometimes, but I'll try. Okay, I think I got what I needed. Here's a filter from Red Pella. And that's definitely not facing in the right direction, so good thing I grabbed a screwdriver. I want it that way. And I need pneumatic tubes. And I also need a timer. So I'll go ahead and slap this timer up on the wall right there. Um, whoa, turn off, turn off, turn off. Uh, keep going. <laughs> That'll work for the moment. <laughs> All right. And actually, I just need to slap a lever right there, and that'll turn the thing off for good for now. <laughs> uh, got a bunch of pneumatic tubes, and hopefully this will do the trick. I just need to uh, pull these things out. Now, I want to go probably right about here, I think is the right spot. Yep, that looks good. And I could possibly run right along the center. Uh, that may be the most efficient thing to do, even though it'll look weird and the pipe's going to be in the way massively, but um, for efficiency's sake, at least, this will work just fine. Uh, it doesn't matter that not all of the, um, these spots are covered with uh, some flowers. They, there just has to be some flowers around the general area, and it'll be just fine. So I'm just going to run this whole entire thing kind of around in circles a bit here and uh, I might need a little bit more pipe and hopefully this will all work the way it's intended haha <laughs> man I hope so because this is kind of a mess kind of a pain kind of a lot of things so uh, almost have enough pipe but not quite what is this okay now it switched me to the redstone pipe so I got a bunch of brass ingots, and I'll just move all this junk out of the way. And I brought some glass with me, and that will be enough to finish this thing off. Probably 24 will do plenty good. All right, let's run this all over here, and uh, just in case things happen to make it all the way over here, uh, I could possibly just slap them in the chest, or I could say, hey. Go circulate in the pipe until you find something to do. <laughs> uh, let's just do that for now. And since this thing is on some ridiculous timer, let's just make that more ridiculous. About 100 seconds, uh, it will pulse one out. And uh, it will occasionally send a little bit of uh, those things this way. Most of these, some of these don't have anything in it. But right here I got several that are missing frames. I got some that actually have some in it. Now all the frames do, these impregnated frames, is make it so these bees make more uh, combs a lot quicker, better, faster, stronger, all sorts of mess like that. So, 
And the, the more I have the impregnated frames in there, the more I'll get out of it. Uh, and I'll eventually have a whole bunch of oil and a bunch of other stuff uh, made from all my bees. Um, I could probably make parts of the system a little bit better. Uh, specifically right here, I have a squeezer. And right there I got a centrifuge. Um, I would have to say, let's just try some things. Uh, Actually, I think I'm missing a gate in there, aren't I? No, I'm not. Okay. I'd have to go back upstairs, grab some regular old gates, and uh, maybe by then that thing will have hit its 100 second mark. <laughs> okay, over here with my fan of uh, laser light shows, I have some iron gates and drawers. Either one will work. Let's pull some more ores for now. And drop downstairs and see what I can do with this. I also need a bunch more of that pipe wire, which I got some down here already. Uh, that stuff's in the way, but it's not that big of a deal. I'll just hop up. Uh, this stuff. Now, basically, all I'm going to do with this is uh, make it make sure some of the system is just a nudge smarter, so it doesn't accidentally overload it later, in case it ever does. Uh, so what I just did here was put a uh, OR gate. Uh, on this thingy, and I'm going to have it make sure that there is uh, room in the inventory, and hopefully this will work. And it's hopefully it's considering this the inventory. I think it is. Okay, so as long as there's room in the inventory, this thing will be able to uh, push stuff around. So I just need to do this. Okay, there we go. So this thing will pull stuff out of the centrifuge here as long as there's room in here in the squeezer. In most instances it will because the system should be way faster than the bees are currently. Um, maybe not when I have all the entire place filled with the bees, but we'll see how that goes later. And I could probably do the same thing over here somehow. Uh, let's see, this one to that one. Yeah, now this one's getting a bit more work but it's got lots of room. So I'll still do the same thing. I'll just uh, slap this thing right here, run some pipe wire, uh, up to here. Okay. Now this one will be, if it has a redstone signal from a pipe, this one is, if it has room, Space in inventory, okay. Oops, I just slapped a pipe on there, didn't need it there. Okay, that'll work. And there's a propolis sitting in here for no apparent reason. What is this one up to? It doesn't think there's any items in the inventory, even though there is. So this one's probably going to have to change. I'm just going to put this one on... Hmm... Items traversing, redstone signal off. Okay, there we go. Because all that thing has to do is pump the propolis out anyway. It, it doesn't matter where it's going. It's just running over here. And this thing is going to take literally 300 ages to <laughs> to fill up on propolis. Because that thing can hold like some absolutely really ridiculous quantity. Like, I don't even remember. Stacks, thousands of stacks of stuff. Okay, let's make sure this one's getting it. Okay, this one is perfect. Okay, and I'm accidentally slapping these things all over the place. They're not connected to anything, so it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, that's smart system. And uh, this thingy here. Let's just do this just for testing. 20 seconds. Okay, it went ahead and slapped one of these things down here. And I don't know how long it takes any of these bees to go through this and one of these things. It takes a long, long time, really. But uh, most of these bees are, you know, nocturnal. So they'll go through it a little bit faster than normal. And if I ever fill this place full of bees, it'll really start pouring, you know, going through these things. So I'm going to just set this thing back up to 100. And everything seems to be working so far. Uh, let's see, now I just got a bunch of oil, okay, and I'm going to have to let this thing do its thing for quite a while. 
But uh, I can go ahead and centrifuge some of this other stuff I've already got. I got so much uh, this stuff right here. So many oily combs and a bunch of uh, petroleum combs. I'll just go ahead and start sending some of this stuff through. Might as well get it done and over with. So this one takes the petroleum. And hopefully none will come a uh, while it's got no room. Okay, it's got room now. This one's the oil. And uh, I hope that's the oil. Yes, it is. It, that's the oil. And now that'll be able to send a bunch of its stuff on to. And everything should be good from there. This thing's still got propolis in it. What is up with you, man? What is wrong with you? Start sucking some propolis for crying out loud. Um, this one doesn't want to work. Okay, maybe now it'll do it. I don't know what's up with that gate. It's a pain in the butt. Alright, there's oily propolis in it, and it sent a bunch of its regular propolis up. Everything appears to be working quite nicely. There's some uh, some other stuff here, uh, honey drops. Got a lot of those already. And it's giving me some oil. Okay, everything appears to be working quite well. Awesome. Well, this was a little bit of an ordeal to set up, but... Uh, it should be good to go now. I'm just going to have to fill this place up with a bunch of other bees and stuff. And uh, I also got a different kind of bees, uh, several other kinds, like lapis bees and things. I have to make something or other for. But uh, I can probably just stick them in here and with the same system. Just do something a little different with them. Like have a different processing you know, plant set up somewhere else to mess with that. Well, peeps, hope you had fun, hope you enjoyed, and maybe even learned something. So, uh, to catch you next time, and uh, we'll find something fun to do. Later. Well, I tried to get this thing working right with frames, but apparently, if you sit here and throw frames in them, uh, it ends up in the wrong slots. For instance, all these frames coming in end up over here. That is not the right spot at all. Now, let's just keep going. Let's see where this ends up. <laughs> Maybe one will end up where it's supposed to be. I severely doubt it. Nope. And that's that. So I tried all the sides. The top ends up in the slot. The bottom ends up in the slot. And any, any of the other sides end up over here. So apparently there's no way to put frames in here automatically. And that sucks. So I'll, uh, I'll start putting the frames in by hand for now, I suppose. But... Uh, I just won't get quite as much uh, bee product that way as I'd hoped. Maybe there's a way to do it with a, uh, a laviary or something. Oh well. See you later.